We've had some fun tonight, but I want to, you know, look at things a bit more seriously. How do you know you're making a difference? You know, like, we all get together and we say, well, we're doing a good job to each other. But are we really? You know, people pay me, but they pay me with other people's money. So you don't know, right? And yet, yet there are clearly jobs that need to be done in the world. You know, you look at, you hear about disasters, tsunamis and stuff, and you think, I could probably help there, right? You guys, you know this, right? And so I was delighted to be contacted by the premier organisation in this area. <laughs> Fucking international rescue. <laughs> so they give me a call and Jeff Tracy, Mr Tracy likes me call, he says, we, know, we have to do internet mapping. <laughs> and I said, Jeff, it's, it's 1966, the internet hasn't been invented yet. You can't do internet mapping. It's all right. Brains has worked it all out. And brains had indeed. So like in 1966, brains had worked out like microprocessors, TCPIP, the whole stack, browsers, you know, it had that, it had some help from IE on that, uh, uh, from that guy that drives the rolls. He had his own MySpace page, right? Pretty slick. You know, he'd done, he'd done uh, collaborative editing in Google Wave, right? But he knew that, like, unless you had a short, really green dress, no one would listen. Uh, so he said, we have to have, we're an enterprise. They're an ESRI site, right? Every ESRI site, because they're, you know, like, I'm not short of cash. We have to have an enterprise geoportal. You could tell I'd been talking to a fucking salesman. He had no idea what an enterprise geoportal might be. So I gave him this diagram, right? Enterprise, <laughs> enterprise geoportal, man, right? No! It's all about performance. So here's the thing. They've got this ARC-IMS server. It's not cranking out maps fast enough. They can't take off because they don't have a map, right? They're sitting around waiting for the freaking map to come out. So they, they've got to get Esri on site to sort the speed issues out, but like, Esri bailed. <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> uh, but, but, but they have, they have their sponsor, right? Oh shit. Um, Glenn Field, like here's a big continuity error in Thunderbirds go, right? Seriously, look at this up here. So, this is a real place. Glenn Field, right, with a space. But suddenly, at one point, that turned into Glenn Field. Now, people might ignore that. We're professionals. We realise how important this stuff is, right? It was a big deal for them. Big fucking deal if you live in Glenfield. Anybody here lived in Glenfield? Right? Yeah, if you know, it's like a dusty suburb and nothing happens. It's in Auckland, right? And there's no... Are there any military bases in Glenfield? Yeah, and there's like, there's, there's like a Westfield Mall, but there's like, More importantly, like, look at this shit. Virgil gets off track, overflies the bloody Navy ship, right? And there's this great bit of dialogue in the film. You've got to watch it. And they say, it's too fast to be a plane and too slow to be a missile. Fuck it, let's shoot it down! <laughs> so Virgil has to crash land on, on, on bloody, I was going to say Fantasy Island, that's not quite right, maybe. And look at these things up here, these things, they come up out of the ground, like where the palm trees are, and they spray like, it's fire extinguisher on the thing, right? They're spooky, man, I'm sure I've seen them somewhere before, you've got to watch the video. So, analysis, that's where we're going to, we're going to, right, analysis. So he said, we've got to have some pie charts. And I said, pie charts are shit, they can't tell us in the angles. And he says, bullshit, he says, you haven't seen Alan and Virgil fighting over a pizza. <laughs> Response times to emergency. I said, we can work out how far can we run. He says, this, the location of Tracy Island is top secret. Is that top secret? You get on back in Google Earth, you zoom around, you find the island with the fucking spaceship coming out of it, right? <laughs> Hey, look at this, you zoom around southern England and you see this, this pink Rolls Royce flying. These, these people don't know how to be discreet. Look at this. Look at this street view. You've got this house. It's like Bill Gates' house, right? You talk about walking into a brothel getting caught. What the fuck is this? There's a fucking spaceship coming out of that house. Look at this guy snorting a line of coke off the floor. See, they're not discreet. Now, here's the big enigma, right? John, right? Now, you said, would you rather live in, like, live in Tracy Island Hang out with Tintin, or would you rather live in space with a vibrator? <laughs> and yet, this guy volunteered. So, Thunderbird 5, I think it's got to go. It's a third of their budget. If they don't, they just don't need it. And I said, I said, uh, Mr. Tracy, uh, Thunderbird 5 has to go. We're down space, man, I know, we can't lose it. And I said, Mr. Tracy, it's a fucking call center. <laughs> <laughs> Sub it out to Hyderabad. And you can like save, you know, three Thunderbirds a year. And this is the big, because we realise talking about the cloud, the future of everything is just like doing nothing. So they're gonna, this is my, my vision for Thunderbirds in the future, right? Thunderbirds in the cloud, I hope you like the slides there. And so they're gonna do nothing, and like everyone else is gonna do it on the web for them, and they're gonna sit down oh, by the pool, 
Like with tension and the vibrator. Thank you.